We're here with head varsity football coach, Coach Cranford, after tonight's win, 35-7. to why, uh, What made the Tiger defense especially so successful tonight against a very good uh, Oak Hills offense? I just think that's their identity. That's who they are. They've, they're have they definitely well prepared. Their defensive coaches have uh, done a great job with them. And, you know, they, they bring a lot of uh, aggression and passion and emotion to the table from the very beginning. So that's something that obviously complements our offense. And, you know, we had... Uh, we had some trouble in the in the first half uh, offensively, but that uh, allowed us to keep our poise and uh, be patient. And you, and you saw, you know, some of the benefit of that in the second half. So I was real pleased. Just defensively, the fire that you know, the talent that that, that they'll bring it to the table, and so it paid off tonight because we needed it early. Coach, I noticed a couple injuries for the Loveland Tigers on the field tonight. What can you tell us about that? Um, Mr. Weber is just down with a, a you know, it looks to be a sprained ankle. We just, we actually, uh, we, we talked about, you know, moving forward uh, tonight with him, but we just felt it was best that we kept him out. Uh, it's more important we have him for the uh, next couple of weeks ahead. And, um, you know, David Query came to, came off uh, the special teams injury. Uh, looks like uh, a sprained knee, but that's all. You know, here's you here's say we'll get those evaluated tomorrow by Dr. Kenner and and see what he says. All right, and coach, one of the things I noticed out of the Oak Hills defense, they tend to be stacking the box, putting those eight players real tight on the uh, Loveland offensive line. What were some of the adju offensive adjustments that were made tonight to combat that from Oak Hills? Well, for us, we we knew after the last couple of weeks of what uh, Nick Slagle, uh, Nate Slagle, N Nate Slagle, excuse me, ha has done uh, for us offensively that people are going to start packing the box, and that's okay because we know we've got a weapon in uh, Luke Waddell, and we had to start attacking the flank, um, and we did that. And the more the more we did it, the better you know things opened up for us. And uh, Luke hit would hit the ground running, square his shoulders up, and and he's just got. Uh, some incredible acceleration uh, that obviously showed tonight. So it's you, you, you can go in and prepare to stop in between the tackles, but you know it's we're going to attack the flank. So you got to be really well prepared to play assignment of uh, assignment football across the board. And you know I felt we took advantage of that tonight. All right, coach, congratulations again on the victory. Thank you so much for your time, and good luck next week beating Glen Esty. I'm Ricky Mulvey at Oak Hills High School for Loveland Magazine Television.